What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land. And a couple of weeks ago, we talked about a report of there being a follow-up Mario movie in the works, a Donkey Kong film, a Luigi's Mansion film, and also the fact that there could be a Zelda film as well. Now, we wanna actually dive into this Zelda film because this comes from Zippo. So once again, like I say all the time, take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're completely wrong. But this is kind of what's going on. He states the article saying, hey, so as everyone here is very well aware of by now, the Super Mario Bros. movie was a humongous rip, roaring success. It's become the highest grossing movie of the year with nothing even coming close to it in terms of gross. As it just so turns out, the rumors you have all have been hearing are true. In addition to the very obvious Mario sequel in the Donkey Kong film, which you have heard first from me a long time ago, I can independently confirm my own sources that a Zelda movie and a Luigi-focused spinoff are in the production at Illumination. Now, like I said, we talked about these other ones, but we are focusing on Zelda today, and the only thing we really have about Zelda is this following statement. From what I'm hearing, Zelda will be an amalgamation of very different Zelda games, rather than a straight adaptation of like, say, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, etc. Also, yes, Link will speak. This all sounds great, right? Well, not just one, but two problems going on right now. And then they just go on to talk about, obviously, the writer's strike that's going on. So clearly, these movies are going to be a very long time out until that eventually ends. So yes, that is a big thing going on right now. So it's going to take a while. It is what it is. Writers deserve to get paid more for their work. And obviously, putting in all their effort into some of these movies, it is a great thing that's happening right now. But we're just going to have to be patient and wait for these movies to eventually come to fruition. But yeah, a Zelda movie apparently is in the works. It just makes a lot of sense. Nintendo's big IPs on top right now, Mario and Zelda. Obviously, Pokemon is up there. Pokemon has had its Detective Pikachu movie. So clearly, you know, we're kind of moving on to the other IPs. Mario, Donkey Kong, Luigi sounds great. Zelda would be the next one outside of the Mario universe, if you ask me. And it just, yeah, it lines up. But apparently, uh, let, let's start digging into some of these details because they're pretty interesting. But the leak says how it will be a combination of different Zelda games. And that makes sense because we've actually seen that with Mario. The Mario movie doesn't, you know, directly take after any game. It's not based on 3D World. It's not based on Mario Brothers 3, Mario Brothers 2, Mario Land, any of that stuff. It is a cultivation of all these different Mario games brought together in one. You have items and power-ups from various different games throughout the series, all jam-packed into one unique story just for the movie. And I like that idea. So there's so many Zelda games that they can pull from, from enemies and bosses and characters and worlds and just all types of things that they can smush together into one unique new film. And I'm going to dive into exactly all those things that they could add. But the other, the, the other thing that kind of like that really took my mind was the fact that Link is going to talk in this movie. Now, obviously that would make sense. I don't think we need a movie the entire time with a mute protagonist. That would not go well. So yes, someone's going to have to voice Link. People are going to hate it. That's how things go. People are not going to like it. But maybe this even leads to Link being fully voice act in the games for now on, which is something that I think a lot of people have been wanting because it adds character to, obviously, Link. It makes him kind of come alive now instead of just this emotionless person that walks around Hyrule defeating all the enemies but doesn't have anything to say about it. So, yeah, I would love for it to have a voice actor, and I would love for the games to eventually start having a voice actor. So that makes sense. Obviously, Link needs to talk. People are going to have a heart attack when they first hear them, but eventually, I think people will start to come around. Now, how do you tell a new story for Zelda? Well, you don't need to really worry about a timeline or anything like this because this is cinema. This is the movies. No one really cares about that unless they somehow try to make a separate timeline just for the movies. I don't really know. But you could pretty much just have a world that's based off of like a base Ocarina of Time. For instance, it has great locations that they could use for this movie, such as the castle, Death Mountain, Zora's Domain, Kokiri Forest, Gerudo Desert. Everything is there, and it just really makes sense. And in just like in all the other Zelda games, those are kind of the core regions of the map, even in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, these are the areas that are the most important and have the most, you know, amount of characters and regions and group of people. So, I mean, you could even throw in like a Rito Village in there, which would be really cool as well. Just have all these different locations. That's a little bit of, of a mixture between like the world of Breath of the Wild and Ocarina of Time. 
and you would have yourself a really, really cool story with a great world already. Now, there's one story that we see in both of the Hyrule Warriors games, both the original and Age of Calamity, where Link starts off as a knight, and it kind of shows how Link became the chosen hero in Breath of the Wild and eventually Tears of the Kingdom. It shows that he was just a brave knight, and even in the original Hyrule Warriors, he was kind of getting bullied and messed with a little bit for being so small and as not as strong and as powerful as some of the other soldiers, but he has heart and determination, and maybe they can show him going on like montages of building up and he's just got this goal to be the best and you know try to be the most powerful knight out there and serve the kingdom the best that he can and it's kind of like an origin story for Link showing him kind of you know progress with his skills and finally be a knight that's strong enough to not only be one of the greatest warriors of Hyrule but the greatest and protect the kingdom and actually save the princess and be the one noble knight that's meant to to, you know, save the day and wield the Master Sword. And it's kind of like a story showing him build up, getting stronger, and also going around the map defeating bigger and badder enemies. And also, once again, that story of getting the Master Sword in his hands, I think would be a great one to tell. But yeah, I would just like to see a story where like maybe people think of Link as less and not as strong and put him down, kind of like Rivali did in Age of Calamity and Breath of the Wild, where Rivali thought he was way more superior than him and that he wasn't ready. Um, and just showing Link prove his worth, kind of like the Captain America movie, where he just kind of was this little weak, scrawny little kid and eventually became a powerhouse and, you know, the savior for the world. Uh, but something else I would love to see is Ganondorf. Uh, Ganondorf would just make a lot of sense. Maybe you could throw in Ganondorf and Ganon at the very end. He can transform into Ganon just like the end of Ocarina of Time um, and show just like what Beast Ganon looks like and everybody's like surprised like what is this creature? Who is this? And it kind of starts a new timeline for the movies maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying this is going to be like the start of a new timeline or anything like that but it would have to tell a story that doesn't really mess with any other game right now so I don't know. Maybe a, a cinematic timeline they could start for Zelda would be kind of cool I guess. I don't know. Of course, I believe with Nintendo making these movies, the stories are always going to be simple because the games don't have stories. So the fact that people were surprised that the Mario movie didn't have a deep story at all, well, I don't know how because there's literally barely any Mario games out there outside of like the RPGs that have a in-depth story. So that's what we're going to get, a pretty basic story. Now, Zelda stories are probably some of the better ones for Nintendo's IPs, so maybe we'll get a lot better one here and maybe some some deep cuts and tie-ins and lore stuff that we didn't expect, but uh, I don't see it being that big. I think Link just needs to protect the kingdom and maybe gotta go find and rescue Zelda. Zelda gets kidnapped or something, I don't know. Maybe Zelda's with Link helping him out or maybe Zelda uses her chic alter ego in order to do something on you know, a separate path of her adventure. But Link just going out to save the kingdom. So obviously he's going to go out and explore these different regions of Hyrule, meet with the Gorons, the Zoras, the Rito, um, and just kind of talk with them, maybe even the Kokiri, um, and try to learn different things from them, which would be really cool. But yeah, the thing that a lot of people are going to ask is what about dungeons? Like, are they obviously going to have Link go through dungeons? Well, I don't actually know. I think if they do, it'd only be like maybe one or two. Because could you imagine watching a movie where Link not only has to get around the world and talk to different races and go through different, you know, situations and side quests and stuff, but also complete seven to eight dungeons, that would just get repetitive and people would easily just get tired of that. Like, I don't think people want to sit and watch Link enter and complete and finish seven to eight dungeons. You're not even going to have enough time to fit that all in like a two and a half hour movie. Like, it's just way too much. So I think they might even just get rid of dungeons altogether for the movie, for the sake of the movie, and just have Link visiting these locations and, you know, fighting, you know, giant beasts or enemies or bosses that are walking around or threatening these locations. So, yeah, I don't even necessarily think I would want to watch Link go through dungeons in a movie. I just don't think that would be interesting. That's like That should be saved for the games. Uh, but, yeah, that's just my take on that. But basic enemies will be there, like Moblins, Bokoblins, Lizalfos, things you see in Breath of the Wild, pretty much the basic enemies. And bosses that kind of appear throughout the series based on each location, like maybe King Dodongo's over there in the Goron region. Um, I think this could be a really cool movie adaptation, honestly, if they do it right. And, obviously, finally allowing Link to talk could be huge and monumental for the actual 
actual games as well so we're just going to wait and see if this is even real and if this even happens and if it does it's like i said going to be a very long time thanks to the writer's block right now it's going to it's going to take a while before we start seeing some of these movies appear but let me know in the comments down below are you excited for a future zelda movie and if you are how would you like them to approach it would you like young link older link would you want it to focus on a specific game or just kind of all the games like the rumors suggest let me know in the comments down below and how excited are you to hear that maybe Link's going to be able to talk. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, stop what you're doing, leave a like, and subscribe. It'll only take a couple of seconds. And also, while you're here, feel free to check out these videos from Arwen Link on YouTube where they post these amazing Ocarina of Time recreations in Unreal Engine 5. Um, these videos are just insane. Seriously, go check him out there. Subscribe and just look at all the great stuff that they post. It's, it's pretty awesome. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. See you guys.